Welcome to Borlandia Unboxed. Today we're taking a look at Brew. Brew is published by Pandasaurus Games. In Brew, players must choose how to use the element dice either to take back control of as many seasons as possible in an area control game or to procure goods at the local village in a worker placement game. We have a giveaway for our YouTube viewers and it's a copy of Brew. To enter, make sure you subscribe to our channel, don't forget to hit that bell, and comment below. If you could cast a spell on yourself, what would it be? This is for two to four players, 45 to 90 minutes, and ages, I can't read when you move. Ten up. Ten up. So, the cover is really cool too. Some nice artwork on the front of the box here. Yes, the only thing we've seen about this is a promo card, and it had a very weird creature on it with two legs, looked like a wolf, yes. and wings. Yeah, like an <laughs> owl wolf. Uh, the book, pretty hefty book. It's uh, got 19 pages. The last part are references, though, so that's always good. A bunch of the creature cards in here will have a reference. And it does look like they evolve here. Remember, there's that two-legged oh, yeah. thing, and then now it's four legs. I... <laughs> <laughs> so that's always good to see reference. Uh, the 16 and 17, pa those pages are additional rules. So that's interesting. So final scoring. So 15 pages. Of straight rules. Yeah. Winning the game, the player with the highest final score is the winner. Typical in a game. <laughs> okay. So page one, in, or sorry, page two, page three is set up, and then page four. So a good 10, 11 pages of rules. There's a lot of pictures, though, too. So quickly, the objective of the game. In Brew, you and your friends will place dice strategically to gather potion ingredients, gain control of forests, and train helpful creatures uh, with magical powers. The player with the most victory points at the end of the game wins. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. yeah, a typical round uh, is, I'm sorry, the game is played over four rounds. At the start of each round, players roll all six dice in your dice pool. You have four colored dice and two white dice, which we'll get to in a second here. Next, you will take turns in clockwise order, starting the, with the player who has the first player marker. And then you continue taking turns until everyone runs out of dice. At the end of the round, you claim forests that you control and then perform cleanups for the next round. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. A lot of pictures, which is great in the rule book here. Especially when you have so do. many pieces, what yeah. to do with those pieces. There's a lot of cards and all that stuff. Controlling a forest, what that means. So, that's pretty good. There's also a catalog in here. Um, and this is my favorite. They tell you right here what to do if you're missing something, if something's wrong. So you don't have to email Boardlandia, you just email Pandasaurus. Yeah, pretty good thing. All right, pu first punch card. I believe these are victory points. It matches yeah. the symbol that was in the... I thought thing. these were going to be card cards, but these are like cardboard cards with people on them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the punching is okay. I do see... Really? Mine seems All right, it's pretty decent. Decent. I don't have any tears yet. This one looks I have sketchy, to put a though. little more effort into these circle ones to pull it out a yeah. little. Yeah, I would, I would give this a, I mean, nothing's hanging yet. Maybe a three and a half mm. out of five. More I think of them. Four. You think a four? I think a four. To be clear, to get a five, I think it's got to be, even though sometimes I find it annoying. Yeah, I was going to say, it's got to be the like type that happens. falls out when you lift it up. Yeah. Then it's annoying because then it's everywhere when you don't mean it to be everywhere. Yeah, but then you know the punch is perfect. It'll never hang anything like that. All right, so we got a little potion token here. Uh, let's see if I can, what is it? Number nine. Oh, this is the first player marker. Look at this thing. First player marker. It's kind of just an okay first player marker, I guess. It's kind of small. Oh, People yeah. normally... A lot you of usually just forget crazy. about them. Oh, there's an insert in here. Interesting. And then we have, let's see, is it going to tell me what these are? Um, no. Interesting. 
It doesn't have a picture. Number five, supply. So place all the ingredient tokens. Oh, so these are ingredients. So this is fire. This looks like, oh, C. These are totally different again. Um, what the heck is C? 8C. Energy berries. Okay, so this is an en energy berry. No, my event went fast and I thought it ripped, but it didn't. And these are fires. Uh, apparently energy berries are also part of the supply. You just, as a player, will also get some. These are the player boards, which look really cool. Uh, four colors, essentially. And they all have their own names. Cool. They're, they're hard. Or they're not hmm. cards. They're little player boards. These are nice. They're different. Yeah. These are cool dice. Let's they, see. Uh, they're not vibrant like the rest. No. I don't know if the rest of the game is vibrant. No, they're like a matte or a subdued finish. They match the game well. They have good tones on the colors, too, so you can see uh, what's going on. I don't know if this is colorblind friendly guy. I don't think so. No. It's got red and green. I mean, it's, it's shapes. So you look, but it has I don't yellow. Think, yeah, I don't think the. Oh, you're right. So this is. I bet you these are for players. Yes. So four forge dice matching your color. Yep, so each one of these is gonna be your player color. And uh, they feel good. They're plastic dice. They're well made from what I can tell here. Like no stray paint or anything. Yeah, it was uh, all well Even well. with these white dice. So these white dice are the white elemental dice. Mm. I got fire, wind, water, earth, it looks like. No, there's a leaf, maybe earth. There's no like. That's pretty nice. Easy way to. Uh, Ooh, the cards. Yeah. It's it, tight. This one has an easy open. What? This one is totally just right. shrink wrapped. Tight. Here we go. So these are potion cards. They have a. Weird smell to them. <laughs> New card smell. Yeah, right. <laughs> New card smell or ink. And then it looks like each player gets a set. No, sorry. These are the these are the different seasons, if I recall. Yep, four seasons, and they all have different animals on them. Let's let's show one of the cool animals. I got it. So this is. Oh, here's that. Well, that's an owl. It's like the raccoon's face. These are crazy. Well, it's a promo card, so I'm wondering if it's just a totally different character. Oh, so the promo card that they had. Here's another one. This is summer over here. The one. This is winter. Um, so the color on the outside indicates what season it is then? Yes. And oh, the, and I see and the, back. the back. It's got so a sun and a... The back has the sun and a snowflake on this one. Oh, it's the same character. Hmm? Or it's the same... It's the same creature, just different. It looks like different. the same creature, but it, they're different, yeah. He's dressed for winter and looks a little different. And this one different. is like, yeah, different. Uh, there's victory points on the front of the cards. I bet. And the back of the cards. This, you're rolling dice for these. We have, we have fall and summer. We'll get a, a little different animal here on the back. I don't know, it looks like a, I have no idea <laughs> what that one is. Cheat cheats. Those are always nice. And these are called, these they call these creature cards, and they're divided into piles based on their seasons, as I already mentioned. Seasons on the back. Are they all the same? No, they all look, well, yes. So they all are the same type of creatures in a way. They just look different when you get to different seasons, I believe. Let's see. So, yeah. Yeah, like this bird in winter is plain, and in summer it's got like stuff over his head. <laughs> Summery <laughs> shine to him, almost like he's Super Saiyan. In the sun. <laughs> right. So same animals, they all just look different depending on what season they're in. So that's kind of cool. So I don't know what these are, but these match uh the dice right here. Those so I'm are guessing forests. Rolling. So 
That's the forest deck. Is they're what all a little bit there. different. And they're all, they're like tableau style. So here is, I believe, the back of one. It's got four, this one has four seasons on it. Number two, go through the forest deck and remove any that do not match your player count. Okay. Where's the player count? Oh, this is the back. Huh. So here's a forest. Forest cards. There's a player count somewhere. Ah, on the bottom of the card will tell you if it's two plus. This one's only for, for four players, for example. And yeah, they all look relatively the same. I mean, they'll have the different seasons as well. So summer, fall, winter, spring. Nice cards. They don't have that feel like we've had in some games that have like a texture, like a linen texture. So mm. these are all smooth. I like the linen texture ones. All smooth cards. I don't, did we really show this? This is the two player board setup. Oh, so there's a variant then? There must be. It does have it part of game setup though. It says it's on here. Place the village board with the middle in the middle of the play area with the day side up. Oh. oh, I see. They just have like a subtext on the picture. They set it up showing two players. Gotcha. So this is the regular board in the game. So what do we have here? Winter on this side and, oh, and nighttime winter on this <laughs> side. Winter and winter. Yes. Interesting. Couldn't nice pick summer board. as the board? Insert if we didn't show that already. Nice little insert in the game. This is a weird looking area right here. This, I, I don't even know what's going to go oh, in there yet. Oh, probably these, and they're going to go all over the box. Oh, you think it's the tokens going there? That's, th yeah. there was nothing in here. Ooh. Oh boy. So, no, no bags. I mean, you get. Stuff came in there. You get two. Yeah, the, the, the dice. dice. Oh boy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so. They could have given you more bags to store all of these tokens because they're. If you they're... put them in here, why? Oh, it no, won't even. It won't oh. even matter. It's just like. Oh god. Maybe there's a, a page for how to how to use the insert. No, no, that's right. I already went to the end. Oh boy. It's a free for all right there. I'm not even going to yes, sort them when we put it them in. Is. <laughs> Yikes. So kudos on the insert. Um, a little downgrade in my book that you only get two bags. So you're going to have to get your own bags. I just hate having to sort everything yeah. when I it's mean, time could, to play. It I guess so much leave time. the dice out and put all these little tokens. I mean, did we even show them? They're, they're little. Little. These are all the ingredients for your potions that you're making. Speaking of, we didn't show any potion cards. Oh, uh, I thought you did. I was even just looking at that deck. Nope. These are regular sized cards as well. And actually this one has like a bend to it. It's weird. So I'll just pay or go through. Each one has ingredients in the upper corner. And Those oh, there's a different cool, colored though. card right there. Uh, what else do we have? Here's some other different ones. It looks like they have the same like shape. Or I mean shape, colors, like all of these red ones are going to look like this. They just have different ingredients to them and actually they all have the same ability as well. So there's only okay. a limited number of things you can make. Different types of potions. Yeah, they take different ingredients but they all do that like all of these orange ones do the same thing. Scorch an empty forest space. Not much variety but at the same time uh different ways to earn something so yeah yeah i suppose and they all have victory points on them and everything too now it's time for the shake test before we do it we wanted to show you what it looks like inside i'm not going to tip it too much um yeah because it will wreck it <laughs> so there weren't enough spots for all the different types of Tokens. Tokens. So there are tokens in the middle in the <laughs> big open area. So yeah. this is right. not going to probably be very I'll good. Put that there. We're even going to put the, like, here's all of our games. We'll put it all back in there to give it 
kind of like a chance here. <laughs> it's gonna be so bad. All right, we can just do it lightly. Take it out, put it back. It's in your car. Go you walked over. up the stairs. Yeah, walking up the stairs with it. Someone's like, oh, look at this cool game. Oh, I don't wanna play that game. Down, around, I mean. I can hear right. things moving. So that's the first test. Here we go. Oh, oh. a car. Oh, jeez. Oh. I didn't even shake it that hard. <laughs> the cards flipped out. I guess I was, wasn't expecting that. I was much. expecting that because of when you put cards like this, if you don't have a lid, you know, it's easy to slide. If they were sideways, can they even go? Yeah, they could go. They could have went this way. Hmm. And they wouldn't have fallen out. All the pieces um, are missing from this yeah. one spot right here. You can see they all went down, obviously, because we had it up on its side. Let's put those back there. Put those back there. And the dice then, didn't move. Yeah, the dice didn't move. So if we go underneath as well, what do we got? Oh, we got one we token. We have one, and it just fell when I was lifting because there was a couple on the edge here. The more you... I mean, I barely shook it. So obviously, the more you kind of move it around. You go to your basement, grab the game. Yeah, you, you're late for a game night. You run up the stairs. That's yeah. going to do it right there. Yeah, pull the pull the <laughs> insert out because a lot of your tokens will be underneath it. So this you could is, small bag these and individually. Put them I'm going to have to give this a two. Wow, you gave Maybe. it a two. I mean, it I has, guess these stayed in. Okay, fine. I agree. Yeah. I was thinking a one, but I guess some oh. stuff did say in the spot. Yep, I give it two out of five. I mean, you might as well not have the insert and just give us more bags. Save yeah. the money on the insert and just give us bags. Yeah, I agree. Thanks for watching Boardlandia Unbox. If you're interested in a copy of Brew, you can head over to Boardlandia.com, where you'll find a large selection of games with some of the best prices and great customer service. And if you're interested in winning a copy, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit that bell and comment below. If you could cast a spell on yourself, what would it be? Thanks for watching. Congratulations to the winner of our giveaway for the game Die, Mepper. Reach out to us on our About section to claim your prize. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and thanks for watching. say what spell I was going to cast on myself. You said you weren't going to. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to fly. Oh, Jesus. Well, then I didn't come up with one. No. <laughs> We're done. Next.